Hey everyone, in this video I would like to talk about using filtered rows instead of using VLOOKUPs. Filtered rows is something that came out in Excelsius 2008. However, from a couple of my prior engagements, I've seen people still using VLOOKUPs. VLOOKUPs take much longer to develop and cause a lot more maintenance headaches in the future versus filtered rows. Unfortunately, this was the only technique that was possible before Excelsius 2008 and it was a very common problem where people had to gather a grouping of data items based on a selection. To illustrate this problem, I have two examples to show. One using VLOOKUPs and the exact same one using filtered rows instead. So first to the VLOOKUPs. If you go to Excel spreadsheet, you'll see that uh, in order to collect a group of rows, you'll need a row numbering schema. So you'll know from which row to which row the uh, the groupings belong in. <clears throat> On B3, you can see that we do a match to get the starting point of where the grouping starts at. For example, <coughs> group A starts at 1, group B starts at 6, and so on. You also need to make sure that all the data from C22 to D71 is grouped together. So group A's are all together, group B's are all together, group C's are all together. We can't have it where there's a group A here, there's a group A here, there's a group A here. However, with uh, filtered rows, you're actually able to do that. <coughs> Finally, moving on to column B and C, this is where we have our VLOOKUP formulas that eventually grab our data. Next, moving on to the dropdown, our labels will actually reside in a different tab and the destination is B2 which eventually drives the B2 in our selected group area and in turn drives our whole VLOOKUP engine. Now let's preview and see it in action. Here's all our group A's, group B's, group C's and so on. Now that we've seen the VLOOKUP version, let's go uh, check out the filtered rows version. In this version, uh, first of all, we don't need uh, the dimensions tab anymore since our labels will now uh, drive off the data itself, which is C19 to C68. Next, you'll see that we don't have our rows columns anymore. We don't need the row column to decide uh, where our groupings are. Coming back to the drop down menu, uh, we see that our insertion type is filtered rows now. Our source data will be everything in gray, and our destination will be the same spot as before, the purple spot. Okay, now let's see it in action. We have a group A's, group B's, group C's, and so on. So you can see how much easier and faster we were able to accomplish the same task using filtered rows. I've attached two of the source files to the blog article, so please feel free to download them for your own testing purposes. Um, if you can find any other examples that would um, negate using VLOOKUPs versus filtered rows, please uh, post on the video comment or post on my blog comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more business objects and Excelsius related videos. Bye for now.